What is up everybody and welcome to another episode of Dat Boy Gaming. Today we're just gonna be doing some live battles for you up until we get that new crown chest. We're up to 8 out of 10. We're sitting at 3421 trophies. So just to let everybody know if you haven't checked already and if you are in a clan, uh, clan battle chest is going to start in 5 hours and 53 minutes. Um, our clan actually did really really good. Uh, back whenever we did our clan battle chest last time. We don't do so well in the crown chests just because we don't have as many active people. But we are going to be using our main uh, trophy pushing deck with the hog rider and the elite barbs. So let's go ahead and dive straight into one and see what we do. Okay, playing Julian F. From lethal attack, 34-34. This is not a great way to start off. So that hog is going to take a few shots off on our tower. He's going to throw on his flame spirits to take out a majority of our goblins. But our spear goblins are going to survive to take a couple shots off on that tower. So hopefully our electro wizard is able to take out that. And it yes, it is. So we're going to go ahead and log away those archers. Uh, he is going to throw down another ice golem. So what he is using, he's using a hog rider cycle deck to try and counter our pushes. And of course the game's going to freeze. And there we go. Okay. I need to find a different recording device. So if any of you have any tips or something else I could use, um, to record devices, by all means, please comment that in the section below. Um, it almost seemed there for a second like he was giving up, uh, but he is, in fact, not going to. But he does not have a very good uh, counter to the elite barbs or my hog rider for that instance. So with the hog rider decks, typically you do see some form of defensive unit well, defensive card, like an Inferno Tower or a Cannon, or even the Tombstone, to counter any of those troops, but I'm waiting for him to have a card that's going to counter this. And he does have the Elite Barbs, so... Uh, he is using a Hog Rider cycle uh, with the Elite Barbs as well. So, his Elite Barb is going to take out all of our troops, but we are going to use our Elite Barbs to counter the rest of his troops and go right after the Ice Golem. Wow, he is not using that Ice Golem very effectively. So we're going to throw down our Inferno Tower. We're going to play everything on defense at this point because there's no way he's going to be able to take out a tower in 46 seconds. So we are going to continue to try and push uh, just to put a little bit of pressure on him so he doesn't get too comfy. We're going to log all that. It's not going to take out those archers, uh, but it is going to take them down to a very manageable uh manageable health, he'll get one shot. We're going to throw our Elite Barbs down, and Hog Rider, hopefully we're going to be able to take out this final tower, so I would like to end the video here if at all possible, but it's not looking like we're going to be able to do that in 15 seconds. So we're going to throw an Inferno Tower to distract that Hog Rider, and that is going to be game for our first live battle. So, 1 0 crown victory against the level 11. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. So, we're going to get 31 trophies, taking us up to 3452. So, now we are at the level 9 crown chest. So, even if we do lose this battle and we do get one more crown, that'll be it for this video. So, we're going to go against Mondi from Pinoy and Makulets. Makulets. Sitting at 3428. So, less trophies than the last guy that we played. Uh, we're going to throw down our Electro Wizard, because I do want to save my Elite Barbs. And hopefully... Oh, wow. That was very well played. That took us down way farther than what I was expecting it to. Okay, he does have the Bomber. I'm going to try and Fireball that out. Um, unfortunately, I don't get that Fireball down in time. He's going to throw down his Miner, but we're going to throw down our Goblin Gang to quit quick work of that miner so he's not going to get any shots off. Goblin Gang is going to go up the up the side and he does have a wizard and as many of you pr probably know from watching my channel previously or watching any of the other videos I 
hate fighting the wizard. <laughs> I have not found a good way to counter it. Um, except for Fireball Log, which is a bad elixir trade because that's six elixir compared to what I could be using. So he does have the elite barbs. Hopefully that hog is going to get a shot off. That hog is going to get a shot off. So we're going to use our elite barbs and oh god. Uh, hog rider coming up the lane. So we are going to fireball and zap that out of there. Oh god. Well played. The bomber is one of those underrated cards that doesn't get used fairly often. That probably should be. Um, it deals tons of damage to a, a surprisingly large radius. Um, so we're going to try and build up a quick Hog Rider push. Okay, he is going to try and distract our a, uh, Electro Wizard. And everything's going to get sucked in there. That's going to get quickly out of that tower. And he does miss our Electro Wizard with that Fireball. So we're going to throw our Inferno Tower down to distract that Hog. And he predicted that perfectly. Oh my goodness. So fortunately that hog isn't going to get many shots off. And our elite bar still does have some health left on it. We're going to try and take out that... Ah! So close. Uh, make quick work of that miner. Inferno tower right on the, the wizard to try and get it to take as least amount of shots as possible. And right now we're just going to try and play defense because I highly doubt we're going to be able to take out this guy's tower. And I think I'm going to be right. Oh, wow. Well played. This guy is doing a great job. And I shouldn't have used that fireball. Poor playing on my part. I just wasted four elixir. So Inferno Tower. And he's going to zap that, trying to get that Inferno Tower out of the way. However, that leaves it open for my uh, for my Goblin Gang now. Oh. Very, very well-placed Tornado spell there. And that is going to take out all of the Goblins that I have. Oh, I'm a little bit worried. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's going to be game. We fucked up. We really fucked up. And we lost 32 trophies. Wow. So, I don't think we deserve to open that crown chest right now. Uh, let's try and do one more battle. Try and redeem ourselves for that very poor gameplay. Wow. Um... Okay, so typically after a loss, I get very aggressive. So let's hope that I don't get too aggressive. I'm going to lose again. Uh, so he does have the Elite Barbs. They're both level 11, which is definitely higher than what I have. Um, we are able to... Oh my goodness. Wow. Um... I don't know what to say. That's really frustrating. That is really frustrating. And the Electro Wizard isn't going to get any shots off on that tower. That's even better. Okay. So we need to figure out a way to combat that freeze because that was nasty. That actually might be something that we put in our deck in the future. So we're going to throw down another fireball to take care of that. Wow. And he has... The Lumberjack as well. That's fantastic. Which means soon after this... Oh, wow. He throws down his freeze preemptively. So that didn't work out for him. So we are coming up on our Elite Barb, so hopefully he doesn't have enough elixir to play his. Really hoping he doesn't have enough elixir to play his. Just in case we do have enough elixir, we're going to throw down that Electro Wizard in the back. And that's going to make quick work of those minions. Probably should have saved those, but he probably is at full elixir now at this point. Uh, we're going to throw down the Hog Rider. Uh, 
Okay, so the hog is going to get some nice shots off on that tower. And just like that, we're pretty close back to even. So... Dang it. That freeze is really irritating. He's probably going to throw it down. Okay, not exactly what I was expecting. Uh, but that's perfectly fine. We're going to throw down our Electro Wizard to take care of those minions. Goblin Gang and the Log to take out that Wizard as well. Okay. So we are going to have to try and take out this tower very quickly. Which we're going to easily do with this push. But I highly doubt that we're going to be able to, to save this. Yep. So this is probably going to end up being a tie, which is perfectly fine. Uh, Thor Electro was in the back. We're going to try and build up a very, very nasty push up here. That actually didn't end up too bad. So he is going to throw down a freeze. I'm not quite sure why. Throw down our Electro Wizard. And let's go down throw down a Goblin Gang. Try and take out all that nasty stuff. So we are going to log that away. Because the Dark Goblin is a lot stronger than people make it out to be. We have 12 seconds left. This is going to be our last chance to do a push. And it's not going to be enough. Um, we did end up taking the lead a little bit there at the end. Uh, but that level 9 Valkyrie, that's rough. Um, as well as level 8 Wizards and level 11 Elite Barbs. Make it very difficult to really do anything up here. And I've been finding that the longer that I've been playing, the harder opponents that have been put up against. So... I don't know how much higher in trophies we're going to be getting. Um, just because my cards are decently low level. They are barely over uh, tournament standard at this point. And I'm playing people that have level 11 elite barbs, level 9 rare cards. And people that can just zap away my goblin gang. So until I get these cards upgraded even further, we're going to be stuck here for a while I think. Um, we'll see what happens. And I don't have enough gold to buy any more legendaries. Um, not that I would use some in this deck. So, but let's go ahead and open up our crown chest. 534 gold, 4 gems, 8 goblins, 27 archers, lots of fire spirits, 8 wizards. And that's going to be it for that clown, cran, crown chest. I'm a little disappointed with that one. Hoping for anything that is in this deck. Um, right now we are pushing for that level 10, uh, Goblin Gang, uh, so that level 10 zaps can't take it completely out. And overall, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or any suggestions on what I can do in the future to, I don't know, upgrade cards, uh, decks that you use, I would highly, um, please put those in the comment section below. Also, one other thing that I would like to mention. Um, so I have mentioned that I am a free-to-play player. Now, I have bought certain uh, like packs in the past, uh, and I have bought gems. As you can see, I'm currently at 781 gems. Um, something that you can do, uh, especially if you're an Android user, is make sure you're checking your email to see if you're receiving any Google Play credit from Google. Uh, today I was able to receive $3 uh, from Google, so now my account's up to um, a decent amount of money. I'm gonna be saving up so that I can buy, uh, buy another 500 gems. Um, but uh, definitely check your emails to see if you have any of that Google Play credit because you can buy some extra gems with that, uh, as well as many other cards and gold if you need it. 
one other thing too, if you do download uh, Google, I want to say it's Google Play Rewards, um, they do ask you to do surveys and they do give you small amounts of money, like 50 cents here and there. To answer just a couple quick questions, it takes like five seconds and you'll get some money in return. I will go ahead and try and put some links in the description below uh, for that app and um, hopefully you'll be able to get some money to buy your packs as well as buy uh, some gems and any of those uh, arena packs that may come your way. But anyway, as always, keep on clashing. And if you enjoyed what you just watched, please like and subscribe to the channel.